Welcome to Longevity's Welding Channel. I'm Tim Rubble, and I'm here to take you through part two of the Weldall 256 PI. Probably my favorite machine of the Longevity lineup. It's a full 250 amp, full feature AC DC TIG, a stick welder, and a 60 amp plasma cutter, all built into one unit. On the plasma side, it also is a little bit more unique, as you're able to cut aluminum on the AC side. That allows you to cut a little bit thicker material and a little bit cleaner of a cut. On this machine it has a standard CNC port on the back that allows hooking up to a CNC table a snap. Now let me take you through some of the features on the machine so maybe you understand it just a little better. On our upper left row we have base current. It goes from 10 to 250 amps. As soon as we plug the foot pedal in it bypasses this. The base current doesn't matter where it's at, whether it's at 10 or 250. And your readout now is no longer going to be a good readout. It'll go down here to the foot pedal, and this is how you'll set your base current. So about in the 50% uh, position will put you about half of where, where the dial would be here. And you will not get a readout on this until you push the pedal down and start welding. Then it'll give you what your actual amps are. Next up we have upslope and downslope. That only comes into the effect in the 4T mode. Click that to 4T. Now that has to do with your torch trigger. Your upslope is set in seconds. That's how long you would like that to come up to the base current. So right now we're about 5 seconds and say we had that set on 90. It would start low and it would ramp up to 90. And then when I push the button again in the 4T mode, the downslope, we'll set that to about 5 seconds, take 5 seconds to start bringing everything down. Next up we have the preflow. I set preflow about 1.5 seconds. That way it allows the shielding gas to get down and stabilize the arc. Okay, I thought I would demonstrate our base current uh, is set at 122 amps. I'm welding DC on steel. And this is to demonstrate upslope and downslope. The upslope is set at 5 seconds, downslope is set at 5 seconds, and our preflow is set right at about 1.5. We'll, we'll start the upslope process. up to full amps and I'll hit the button again and you can see it's starting to come down. Moving to the right side with the rocker switches. Up top we have TIG mode. In the center on the rocker switch we have the cut mode for the plasma process and down low we have the stick mode. We have AC and DC. We have lift and HF. HF stands for high frequency. Down we have 2T and 4T modes. Now let's cover how the pulse works. We have pulse current, pulse frequency, pulse width, and your pulse rocker switch. We can start with pulse off, pulse low, which is about half of the values that you see on there, and then pulse high, which will be full values, which you see on there. So if we have our base current set at about 100, and we have our pulse current we want to start playing with. Uh, say we're going to weld 125 thousandths. Maybe we need to find that happy medium. Maybe we bump our pulse current up to maybe 130, 135. We turn our pulse frequency uh, up. And what the pulse frequency is, is how many times that you want the pulse to hit a second. And then the pulse width is how long you want that to stay in that zone. What percentage of the cycle. Right now I'm about in the 50% mode. For this next exercise I'm going to demonstrate pulse set on a low setting with a large variation between the foot pedal and pulse current. Basically I have the foot pedal set so the pulse is very very low, about 18 amps and that will flash up on your display even with the foot pedal hooked in. And then my pulse current, I'm up right around about 130 amps. And on my duration, I'm set at 2 tenths. And my pulse width, I have turned up to about 60%. Let's see how she welds.
I've used this more as a spot timer and set it up just to kind of time my pulse widths. Uh, you've got a real nice bead consistency. Okay, you can see our last weld had a real wide kind of flat bead. What I've done now is I've turned the pulse up. Uh, we've had to go up on our pulse current for about 135, 140 amps. Pulse frequency, we're at about 280 for hertz. And pulse width, we're looking at about 35%. What this will do is this will really narrow and focus the, uh, the bead and keep everything real tight and quick. The difference in the width there were, were a little bit tighter and about the same amount of penetration. I probably could have used just a tad more heat in that, but uh, you see how it really focused and, and tightened everything up versus a real wide. Um, that's what you're looking at with, uh, with the pulse feature is being able to really tailor what you want for your, uh, for your weld bead and the different situations that you can catch yourself in. Well, now that we're wrapping up part two of the machine, I just wanted to focus on the DC properties of the machine, pretty much welding on just steel, uh, showing you how the pulse uh, can fine tune the weld puddle to what you exactly want. We kind of took two broad spectrums, uh, real, real slow, almost what we would call a, a pulse timer. Uh, kind of can set up a beginning welder and show you, hey, get some heat in it, and then every time it pulses, kind of add some filler and then move and uh, that'll actually help you out with your take process. Then we went to the other end of the spectrum with the, uh, the fast up 280 hertz and what that does is that really really narrows your bead and focuses that. Uh, could have used some more heat on that but uh, you know as you play with uh, some test pieces you'll see exactly what you need for your project. Uh, stay tuned for part three. Part three, I'm going to cover the AC side. We're going to go through AC frequency and balance and how that affects your, your bead. And then I'll take you through the uh, same sequence again with the pulse and show you what you can do on that and how it all works. Uh, what do I think so far of the 256 PI? Um, <laughs> wow, what a great machine. Um, it rivals the best in the industry that I've used. Uh, it's a third of the price. Uh, I highly recommend getting the water cooler with it. Uh, right now they got a great special on the uh, TIG Runner package. Uh, good way to, to purchase a machine and uh, get into it. Uh, stay tuned for uh, part three. And uh, thank you for watching Longevity's Welding Channel. And I'm Tim Roll, and I'll catch you next time.